happy Tuesday. Way's Blood just released a new track, Grapevine, off of her upcoming album, and In the Darkness, Hearts Aglow. So of course we're gonna listen to it today. I'm definitely gonna do a whole album run through when it comes out. <clears throat> um, but it's not coming out until February, so like, how am I gonna avoid listening to the singles between now and then? I won't. And I've already listened to and loved It's Not Just Me, It's Everybody. Um, yeah, so we're gonna listen to Grapevine. I am a huge fan of Titanic Rising. It's like, so cinematic and glorious and intense and emotional and just everything I love about music. Um, so I'm very excited for this album. Honestly, almost everything she's done, I've been a big fan of. Yeah, so let's just get into it. Great fun. It's five minutes and 26 seconds. This is a, it's like a 46 minute album that it's gonna be, but 10 tracks and two of them are less than two minutes long and one of them is less than 20 seconds long, so interesting. Okay, this is track three. Let's go. If a man can't see his shadow oh, He has the power to take his love away He always believes that he's always right So far it's great Uh, yeah I feel like anything she does is just amazing. The the lyrics, if a man can't see his shadow, he can block your sun all day. So true. Six hours on the grapevine and I feel kidnapped this time because my baby thinks he's always right. She just knows how to touch on the part of me that's always longing and my heart is always breaking. <clears throat> and I just love like the tone of her voice. And she's bringing out the sun. Can you see it on the camera? I don't know, but ain't no man blocking my shadow. California is my body and your fire runs over me because California was inflamed. That was cool. I'm always jealous of people who feel like so attached to a place. I don't know if it's because I moved so much as a child, but I feel like I'll never have that. Or I'll never be able to like convince myself of it being true. Sounds like owls 
in the woods at the camp with the kerosene lamps. Like, has she been recognized for how absolutely amazing her voice is? Like, why do I feel like she's still under the radar? I don't know, maybe she's not under the radar. Maybe I'm just living under a rock. <clears throat> she's amazing. And I see the light shining across the free It's me for the first time. I love when the lyrics are blatantly incorrect next to the song because it makes me feel like I'm part of a cool club because they haven't updated the lyrics yet. Or it's like, who, whose job is it at her record label to type in these lyrics? Because they obviously didn't listen to the song all the way through. Sounds so cool, like tickles my brain. I love listening to Way's Blood first thing in the morning because it makes me feel really sad and depressed in a good way, which is how I like to start my day. Um, yeah, I mean, what's not to like? It was just another great Way's Blood track, and I'm excited to listen to it 300 more times and know all of the words uh, in the next couple days. And yeah, I can't wait for the album. I'm excited. She continues to kill it. And I got tickets to see her in February, which I'm also excited about. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. I don't know if it's the best for me to record these first thing in the morning, because I'm like very mellow, low energy. <clears throat> Maybe that works for a Ways Blood track. What did you guys think? of it, have you listened to it? Go give it a listen, report back. Um, go listen to my new song. I'm gonna start feeling dumb, I'm trying to get people to listen to it. It's like, okay, I made a song and released it. Get over it. That's me talking to myself. Um, Leave a comment, subscribe. It's crazy that it's already almost the middle of October. It's depressing how fast time goes by if you think about it. And on that note, goodbye.